So let's see what we get here. So I'm going to save this and let's come back to our messages.php and let's do this read threads yes I like so and then I'm going to say uh, hmm, what do I name it I don't know data the cliche and then data and then what do we do we show data I just want to see what we've got so there we go so let's come back here to our page and refresh and there we go but the problem is we seem to have returned every single message in the list as expected so let's limit this to only the thread itself like two threads we have here so to do that we're going to say group these things by so we can group by a specific column so if i go back here and um, now which column here determines the thread and that's the message id so every item with the same thread has the same message id so we're going to group by message id so group by msg id like so so we're telling it to return only one so if for example there are many of these items with a message id same message id it should only return one but the question is which one of these is it going to return so let's uh, take a look and see i'm going to refresh here and sure enough we only have two items now which are two different threads because as you can see there's a message id there and then there's a different message id over there very good but which of these messages are these so this one is id number eight and this one is id number three so let's check these out so it has returned this number three here and it has returned number eight which is the first one so if you notice it's returning the first of each here so it's returned this one and it returned that one but this is kind of a problem because let me come back here and show you this problem here so for example if i'm looking at this message i will see how are you and this is the first message i ever sent now it doesn't help to see the very first message you sent it helps to see the latest message that you received or you sent just to show you where the message is kind of at okay so but before we tell it exactly how to retrieve the very last message uh, let's display these things a bit better so let's come back to messages.php here and what we will do is do a for each loop here so we will say for each data as we don't need the key here so we just need we'll call this one a uh, message yes yes and then we can use um what is this we use uh so i guess we will need that user uh, class after all so I'm going to say include a file let's include a file now you can create a new file that um, which you can call thread.php maybe uh, let's try that actually thread.php instead of message.php eh? so we're just going to plagiarize the the message.php which already exists and where is that it's right uh, message left that's the one right there mm -hmm. so i will go to the same folder and create a new file save it as a thread dot php goody and then i go to message left and copy everything in here and paste it inside thread dot php that way uh, when I refresh, I have uh, this monstrosity here, but fear not, as what we are missing is the raw user. So, not a big deal, is it? 
let's go to messages.php and let's provide a user here so we did wait what is it expecting it's expecting the raw user mm -hmm. so where have we used the raw user so get user user is equal to new user this is exactly what we want so I will put it inside that loop because each user is different on the thread so but do not instantiate stuff inside a loop that is always a bad idea so let's move this out of the loop very good it's always good to just instantiate these things once and run them as often as you can without having to instantiate again so here we'll use the message here and put it in there so now the question is um, inside that message which user do we get is it the sender or the receiver uh, that is yet to be determined so let me come back here for a sec oh we lost that data sorry what I will do here is just uh, pick the sender whoever sent the message I think uh, can qualify to because the message we're going to show will depend on who sent it yeah so though mm, wait a minute wait a minute the problem with this also is that if you're the last person to send the message it's going to show your face and your message which might be a problem because you might fail to know who you were sending that message to so we'll see how we can fix that issue as well so let's refresh oh we need to say euro user yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, undefined variable will use that on line eight. Ooh. Oh, sorry. User. Oh, my mouse has fallen to the ground, to the floor. All right, we are back in business. So refresh. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, reasonable, but uh, let's uh, change a few things here. Let's go inside thread. Well, actually, right here. Let me put something here. A break tag. Let's echo a generic break tag. But let's add a style. And let's tell it to clear both left and right like so hmm, something looks weird here oh there we go okay that way the the div is going to encompass these floating divs inside so let's refresh and see that okay there we go but since these are threads they can go all the way to the end so let's go inside thread.php actually messages.php wait 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 instead of calling the message left we're going to say message thread just so we can have a different style to message left so if right now i refresh i will have this issue here so back here where we are saying message left where are you okay so copy right here Oop. message thread good now instead of having to float we will not float we will not limit the width either everything else stays so refresh there we go so threads mm -hmm. so messages now as you can see it's showing the messages on my part because it's showing my face 
because I'm the one that actually sent uh, the last message. I was the sender of the last message, but this is not good because it doesn't tell me who I sent the messages to. So that would be better to see the other side than to see me. So we're going to fix that in the next video.